All right, what's going on guys? So I'm gonna try to be quick with this. It's a little bit late. I wanna hurry up and get this situated so I get my hands on it. Like every piece of tech, you gotta film it before you can use it. I sat on this for a little bit because I wasn't sure if it was worth the upgrade. I was contemplating because it wasn't even too long ago I just got the LCD Steam Deck. As you can see here, all wrapped up in my D-brand skin with the Kill Switch case. I have a couple videos on it. I'll have them linked down below on my whole like modding setup and all that good stuff with the LCD edition. Let's just get this unboxed because oh, I got to get the SSD swapped out on this. So we got a little bit of work to do. Here we are. Now this is nothing different it looks like than the LCD edition. You got the, you know, box that looks like nothing on the outside. On the inside you got your writing. You got the Steam Deck right here. And then of course you get your little charger pack here and that's all you get inside the box. I really like that they didn't charge extra for you to purchase a decent size carrying case. I did purchase the 512 edition. Now, that's another thing I can kind of talk about. So you have no more 64 gigabyte. That's what I went with on the LCD edition was the 64 because just like this one, I plan on upgrading the internal storage. So me personally, I was always recommending the 64 so that way you save the money, get it in a cheaper, smaller size. That way you can spend that extra money on the upgraded storage, like a one terabyte, which I went with on my LCD edition. And I'm gonna swap that out and put it in my OLED now. Now, eventually I do wanna get the two terabyte SSD, but right now I'm happy with the one terabyte and the one terabyte micro SD. So plenty enough for right now. Nonetheless, here we are. Let's get this unboxed. So you do get the sleeve. For comparison purposes, why not? Since we're doing that, this is the previous sleeve of the LCD one, and this is the OLED one. So as you can see, a little bit different look. Add a little more bedazzle to the Steam Deck. Here we are with the LCD case, identical to the OLED. Only thing I can really notice difference is obviously the center color here, the little dot here, the logo. Now they actually bumped it up in quality. So this looks like a, well, it looks like, this is like printed on here. It's like a printed material. It doesn't pop out, it's not like a 3D effect or anything like that. This one is not printed. This one's actually like glued on of some sort, but it actually pops out rather than it being printed on there. So a little bit nicer quality case here with that little logo there. Nice, nice little touch. You get your zippers on the side here. It looks like you get white on the little zipper tabs here. And then of course you got your valve seal of authenticity or making sure that it hasn't been tampered with. But on here, you get all black. So these were black little zipper tags rather than the white ones that they have on the OLED now. Very minor changes, but they are quality improvements nonetheless. Nothing drastic. Got your little case here to hold your charger when you wanna bring it with you. Same thing was on the LCD version. The 512 edition for the OLED is, oh, look at that beauty. As you can see here, is not the etched glass. So that's why I went with the 512 over the one terabyte. And also I have one terabyte, why not save the money and just transfer over my SSD? I personally didn't want it because of this whole thing with the OLED display being a little bit muted with the etched glass over the regular ones. Now it's situational. If you're in the light, yes, the etched glass is gonna help you more than the reflective. But as you can see here on the top, you do get a orange button over what you get on the LCD, which is a black one. Now it doesn't seem like it's any more recessed or stick it out any more than the LCD one as far as being able to push it a little bit easier. Placement and all that stuff is the same. You got the USB-C plug there. Oh wow, so the vent smells different. So the LCD version smells like a brand new piece of tech. The OLED version smells like a fresh pair of brand new shoes. That's crazy. Other than that, I mean, you got everything is the same. You got the headphone port there, you got the volume buttons, placement of everything is the same. One thing a lot of people talk about is the weight difference between the two. You can tell it's a little bit lighter, nothing crazy. You do notice it, but it's not like, oh my God, that's crazy light. Now this thing has all the essential electronic tools. So the main thing we're really gonna need is just the pry tool and the screwdriver. No reformatting or anything like that. All you have to do is get this swapped out, put it in here, take the new one, put it back, put that one in here and then we're good to go. My OLED will be pretty much exactly how my LCD was. Hopefully that's, that's the goal.
be careful of this guy because this guy will be taped to the shield. So make sure you're just not ripping off the shield or you're gonna rip this cable right here. We got a light. Oh, we got it. We got power. All right, guys, we're probably about a couple weeks, maybe a month from those previous clips you were just seeing. So I've had some time to spend with the OLED and kind of finalize my thoughts if it's worth upgrading to the LCD to OLED. Or if you have no Steam Deck at all and you're in the market for one, which one should you get, LCD or OLED? Beginning of the video, I stated that it is worth it, obviously, because I purchased it. And I can reassure that it is 100% worth it for me. I am someone who, especially now that I have a daughter that was just born on Christmas, I don't have much time to just be sitting at my computer computer, especially when it comes to gaming. So having a handheld is something that I use on a daily, if not every other day, you know, even if it's daily, if it's for 30 minutes or whatever, give or take. So for me, it's worth it because I'm frequently using it. So those little perks that would just make your experience that much better is worth it for me. The few perks that I've noticed right off the rip, obviously the OLED screen, very beautiful screen. I had a Switch OLED, I had to upgrade when I had the old Switch. When the OLED Switch came out, night and day. Now that the Switch feels like a kid toy and I'm over here on the Steam Deck now, that was the one thing that I missed about my Switch was the OLED screen. It was just something so enticing about it. It makes you wanna turn it on and just kinda look at it. And even if you don't even play games, you might shift through the, the games that you have, maybe look through the store, see if any games are on sale. You know, you kinda get that same feeling with your smartphones but now you have it on a steam deck on a gaming device so on top of that the other thing that i really noticed the difference from the lcd to oled is the battery life now that is like anywhere from 20 to 50 percent more performance on the battery life i have no worries whatsoever i used to kind of always have my lcd plugged in if i was sitting down somewhere you'll play for like 40 minutes look at your battery life and you're down to 50 percent already you're like oh man obviously that's situational based upon whatever games you're playing if you're playing emulators or if you're playing triple games or if you're just playing you know lower tier quality games but the battery life is definitely going to improve coming from lcd to oled no matter what game you play so that ease of mind not worrying about having it plugged in constantly i honestly don't even think about it i used to like push the little side button there see what my battery percentage is at now i'll play for a decent amount of time an hour or so i look at my battery life and i'm at the lowest i'm at 70 percent. so definitely a drastic improvement on that so those two things alone would make me say you should upgrade and that's not even it. They literally up upgraded or revamped everything on the OLED. Some things they didn't even really announce. One thing I noticed is the haptic feedback on the trackpads is better. Definitely more consistent with what you're doing when you're moving around, especially when you're using it in desktop mode and when I'm installing emulators and stuff like that. Or even if you get games that are like by Ubisoft, sometimes they don't really work very well. It's really not handheld compatible. So you would have to use the trackpads to use it as if you're on a PC. Those situations just make it a little bit easier navigating with the mouse or aiming or whatever. I honestly never aim with the trackpads, but everyone plays a little bit different. Haptic feedback, just the way they feel, everything as far as that has been improved. Even the thumbsticks, I have grips on mine from Satisfy, but even the thumbsticks are better. They're a little bit bigger, a little more grooves on the edges, so it's a little more easier to control. The internals have been upgraded. They look a little more fluid. Like as you've seen, it was like a all black kind of looking colorway compared to the LCD. It was kind of like all different colors. You got blue stuff, red stuff. So they they definitely improved a lot of stuff in the circuitry on the motherboard and all that. But the number two things are obviously the screen and battery life that would really make me say that it's worth the upgrade for majority of the people. All the other stuff is just like cherry on top. Obviously, if you're someone who doesn't really game that much, again, if you're just kind of looking for a handheld to just kind of have your Steam library on the go, but you're not sure if you're really going to even game that much, then yeah, you can save some money and get the LCD and still enjoy the experience of playing those games handheld. If you're someone like me, who just doesn't have too much time to sit at your AAA powerful gaming PC, but you still want that experience to be on the go, in your bed, on the couch, while you're traveling, or whatever the case may be, everybody's situation is different, then get the OLED because you're just gonna have that much better experience with the screen and the battery life. And overall, the feeling of it in your hand is just a little bit better as well. So all those little things are just kind of a cherry on top. Whatever one you decide to pick is up to you, but I've been enjoying the OLED Steam Deck and I can definitely recommend it for people who are just in the market for 
for it or if you're looking to upgrade i can say just do it make the jump sell your lcd on ebay or whatever offer up whatever it is maybe a friend that you might know i do have some other videos coming out on the steam deck i have been enjoying a few games power world is one of them i am going to make some videos on like my top games kind of what i have on my steam deck so i do have some mods obviously emulators and all that stuff i want to kind of get into but i do all things tech so i have the s24 ultra coming so i got videos on that hopefully i was able to help you guys out on your decision you're contemplating on whether you want to upgrade or if you're just in the market for a steam deck other than that y'all stay nerdy i'll catch you on the next video peace yeah let's see how you do under pressure oh yeah i've been wanted this shit forever i've been in the field with whatever they throw at me brush it off pick myself up moving on to the better okay hey yeah. ain't no errors baby it's a new era i wake up early feeling rich like i'm cash i get to the paper